What is going on YouTube? I am Lamont at large. Today we are at the Great Northern Mall here in Clay, New York. We're about 10 or 15 minutes away from Syracuse. This mall definitely has seen better days. I'm here to talk about a very, very despicable story that started right here at this very mall. A horrible human being. Don't even want to call him that. Uh, really nothing more than a monster and a demon. That demon's name is David Renz. Before we begin the video, I'm going to have to make an apology to anybody out there watching who is going to be offended by the language that I use. But it is language that I felt needs to be said. So you're looking at a disgusting pig. His name is David Renz. As you can see, he has a very severe facial deformity. He was born in 1983 with this facial deformity. It's hereditary. His father had it, his father passed it down to him, and his father passed it down to his brother and his sister. David had a very rough go at life or at an early age. Uh, he was constantly made fun of from the, his fellow classmates. He's had multiple extensive facial surgeries to try to correct the deformity that he has. He was basically born missing the left side of his lower jaw and part of his cheekbone and he's had like i said multiple facial surgeries very painful surgeries where they inserted these screws and he would have to do these exercises where it would slowly separate the jaw new bone would grow and then he would have to basically in a sense break his own jaw very 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 painful when he was seven years old his mother took him to a fast food restaurant and a man came up to his mom and him and chastised the mother for bringing her son out to the restaurant because he felt it was disgusting watching her son eat. He had a hard time eating as a child because of him missing that lower part of his jaw. Going through grade school, David was last to be picked at anything. Science project, grab a partner, he's always last. Reading time, pick a partner, he's always last. Basketball, football, they're picking teams, he's always last. He was shunned by his classmates. He was already a little guy. When he became an adult, he was only five foot three. Girls would not talk to him, girls would not look at him. He was considered a freak. One good thing that people that knew him say about him is that he was very good with computers. He went to the University of Illinois after graduating high school to joined some kind of a computer program, but for some unknown reason, he dropped out. He later came back to town and he had a job at a store where he worked at for a few years and he made it up to assistant manager when he was arrested uh, in Cod, I believe in the early part of 2013 with 11,000 child pornography images and 1,100 videos. This guy gets arrested. Uh, he is sitting, riding in jail where he belongs. And for some unknown reason, the judge decided probably because he felt sorry for him and the way he looked to let him out of jail but on one condition he makes bail he has to wear an ankle monitor an ankle monitor basically it's a gps that you wear on your ankle so all the authorities in the probation department they always know where you're at at all times so he goes home and he figures out a way to remove the ankle monitor without alerting authorities. There's supposed to be some kind of an alarm on it where you, if you take it off, it alerts them and they come to your house and they arrest you. So he would take it on, take it off, need to leave the house, go do whatever he wants, come back, put it on. On March 14th, 2013, 47-year-old Lori Breshnahan and her 10-year-old daughter were here at this mall. They were at some kind of a gymnasium. Now there's a like a like a gym play area over on the other side of the mall i don't know if it's that's the exact one that she was at but she took her daughter there to you know run around and play or tumble or what have you david renz comes to this very mall and he sits and waits because he decides that he wants to have sex he wants to rape a child he comes to this mall and he sits in the parking lot waiting for a victim. This guy has lost it all. He's already a demon. He might as well just go and do whatever it is that he wants. So he's sitting in his parking lot. Lori comes out these doors. 
she walks to her car and a demon is waiting for her and she doesn't even know it. He immediately runs up to Lori and her daughter, pulls out a knife and pulls out an air pistol that shoots pellets, makes it seem like it's a real gun. He says, shut up, don't make a move, get into the car. He gets into the car. He forces her to drive to a desolate part of this parking lot here in this mall area. He makes a haphazard attempt of tying up Lori. And as Lori is tied up in the front seat, he goes into the back seat and sexually molests her 10-year-old daughter. Now, as Lori's seeing this, she's trying to like break free from the cable ties or whatever it is that he used to bind her. She's finally enough to break free to move where she starts attacking David, defending her daughter. Her daughter's able to escape. She runs out of the car. Lori's screaming at her, go get help, go get help. Run, run, get away from here. And somewhere in this empty parking lot somewhere out here he takes the knife that he has and repeatedly stabs Lori to death he stabs her multiple times and then runs away he's caught later on he's taken back to jail so not only is he in jail now to face all of those child pornography charges but now he has new charges the molestation of Lori Breshnahan's daughter and her murder a disgusting foul pig human being this here is the grave of Lori Breshnahan She's buried alongside of her parents. She fought valiantly to protect her baby's life by a murderous thug piece of filth and a creep and for that she lost her life the last image that she seen was that horrid face I'm sorry and even though I did nothing wrong I am still just sorry crime of rape is a horrific, horrific crime. Even though a murder was not committed, a piece of your humanity, a piece of your soul dies with inside you. Rape is not a word that should be whispered and it should not be said in a hushed fashion. It should be said very loudly and very vocally to any and all out there who listen to your platform. Thousands and thousands of cases of rape occur in this country every single year. They're never reported. It is a crime that robs a woman and a man. It robs them of their innocence and it robs them of their trust of their fellow man. If anybody out there is watching this video, if you've been a victim of a rape and you do not report it, I can only imagine how you feel. I can only imagine what you're going through, the pain, the anguish, and dare I say, the embarrassment. There is no embarrassment in that crime. The embarrassment falls on the perpetrator. If you don't report that crime, that allows the individual that committed it to seek out more victims. It's a perpetual cycle that never ends. I'm going to be putting a number of a rape crisis hotline 
anybody out there that is watching, if you feel the need to call that number, do so. And if that number doesn't work in your area, you can simply do a online search of a local rape crisis center in your area. Rest in peace to Lori Breshnahan. I mean what I say and I say what I mean. All right, guys. I'm Lamont at large. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you on my next video. God bless. Be good. Peace out.